Stirling engine is a direct application of the Stirling cycle. The device that you're looking at here is a working prototype. You can learn a lot of things from this simple engine. Let us get started with the design. You can see that there are two pistons here. The side where the bigger piston resides is called the hot side. This is because this is where we will place the heat source. The second piston is a smaller one and is referred to as the cold side. From your kinematics course, you can quickly recognize that the motion here follows the slider crank mechanism. That is, as the crank rotates, the piston moves up and down. When the piston has traveled by its stroke length, then the position is called top dead center. The crank angle at this position is 0 degrees. Similarly, when the piston has traveled down by its stroke length, the position is called the bottom dead center. The crank angle at BDC is 180 degrees. When the piston goes up one more time, the crank angle is going to increase and is going to be 360 degrees. As I said before, there are two pistons here. Note that when I place the main piston at the top dead center position, the secondary piston is offset by 90 degrees. This is done to push the gas to the main chamber for the next cycle. Before we look at the actual cycle, let us look at one more design aspect. You will notice a ribbed structure in the main cylinder. This structure is referred to as a fin. A finned cylinder has a higher surface area when compared to a cylinder of the same diameter and length. Hence, the heat transfer to the ambient is enhanced. The working principle of this engine is very simple. When the main piston is at TDC, heat is added to the system. Since the volume is constant, when the temperature increases, the pressure is also going to increase. At this point, you just need to help the system a little bit using external work. I use my finger to turn the flywheel to give the initial momentum and that's it. The takeaway is that as heat is being transferred from a high temperature source to a low temperature sink, we can convert some amount of this heat to work. 